Hey guys, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. Today we are going to go through a few different Google AdWords tips and tricks for optimizing your campaigns for better performance. AdWords can be a great platform to run lead generation on if you know what you're doing. The problem is, and the whole point that we create this YouTube channel is that most people don't know what they're doing with AdWords and they'll come in and they'll build a campaign because they'll see something online somewhere and it's completely wrong and they'll get crushed and spend a ton of money and then write AdWords off forever. So in today's video, I'm going to go through a, a few different tips and uh, techniques that you can implement immediately when creating your AdWords campaigns. So we're going to go over four basic you know what, actually three. There's not even any point to do four. We're going to go over three basic tips I'm going to give you on how to ap how to optimize your AdWords campaigns so you can just avoid the pitfalls of, of getting crushed, all right? There's a couple simple things here. So first thing first is campaign structure. So we're going to use our white label PPC AdWords campaign. Here's the overview of the campaign. You can see here, 21 clicks. 8% click-through rate campaign-wide, 9 conversions, 42.86% conversion rate, which is awesome. So we know what we're doing, okay? And this is just a lead generation campaign that we randomly turn on and off every couple weeks. We've only had it in a few months, so whenever we need leads, we just turn it on. So it's not anything like crazy. First things first, you want to build your campaign. It's Your ad groups are one of the most important structures to have correctly set up. So you can see here, these, and don't look at it as a keyword, the ad group, look at it as a theme, all right? So each each ad group is a different theme with different themed keywords inside of it. So white label PPC agency, we want to we want to target people who are searching for someone to outsource their AdWords management to, okay? So we want to we want to put our ads in front of people like that. So if you see here, here's our keywords, and tip number one is match types for keywords, keyword match types. You only should be using exact match, phrase match, and modified broad match, which is the pluses in front of the the words, the keywords here. And phrase match is the quotes, and exact match is the brackets. Do not use broad match keywords in your AdWords campaigns. You will get steamrolled. All right, so that's tip number one. Tip number two, look at how tightly themed these keywords are to the ad group. So what's the ad group? There it is. White label PPC agency, white label PPC for agencies, PPC agency, you see what I'm doing here? It's extremely relevant to what, what Google's, what we're telling Google we want to show our ads for. And now if we go into the ads for this ad group, look how relevant the ads are to the keywords that are in this ad group. Everything is in sync. And if you go to the landing page, it, it takes us to our um, clicksgeek.com website, which is all about white label PPC. So everything is in sync your keywords to your ads to your landing page. That is all it takes to run successful AdWords campaigns. I'm telling you. And most people do this wrong. It's wild. So that's that's really important that you have all of that in sync. You don't need to have 150 keywords in one ad group, okay? You just saw this one. What did this one have like? These are different match types too. So it's only a couple. It's a handful. Now, I'll show you another example. Let's go into... Where is it? PPC reseller is another ad group we're running. Here we have more keywords. I think we got like 21 of them. So look at the ad group theme is PPC reseller and look at the keywords. Google PPC reseller, PPC reseller agency, PPC reseller, pay-per-click reseller. Everything is extremely relevant. Let's go to the ads. Top 1% PPC reseller. You can see here we've worked it in white label too. You can kind of get that latent somatic index type keyword stuff going on. Google understands that stuff. PPC resellers again. So this is really important that when you're when you're building your campaigns that you guys keep this in mind. You know, and this is in the ads. So tip number one, your key, your ad group's keywords should be very tightly themed. Tip number two, your ads need to be tightly themed. And tip number three is, as you guessed it, your landing page that you're sending the traffic to has to be related hopefully closely to the at to the keywords that you're sending the traffic that you're sending to the page and I can't tell you enough how many times people get this wrong it really is wild it's that simple and and another actually you know what let's go number four let's do a tip number four because without this you'll get killed 
is negative keywords. All right, so let's recap so far what we've done. We've went over the importance of creating ad groups with very tightly themed keywords with only with keywords only using exact phrase and modified broad match keywords in the ad group. We went over how important it is to have ads that are related to the keywords that you are sent that are sending the traffic and it's important that each ad group that the that the landing page that you're sending the traffic to is related to the keywords in that ad group. So if you if you just do those things you will be okay. Now you need here's something else you need. It's negative keywords. Now if you do all four of these you you will be fine, all right? Negative keywords, what the hell are they? So if we go into our campaign, we're at the campaign level here. Go to keywords. Come up here to negative keywords. You can see here this is how we add negative keywords. So basically what these are is keywords that we're telling Google. We do not want our ads to be triggered or shown when someone types a search query into Google search that has the word Yelp in it, WordPress, webinars, webinar, training, trainers, trainer, train, okay, softwares, very important. Now you might be thinking, what the hell are these little phrase match quotes around them? You need to put the phrase match around them because these are, these are root negative keywords. Now what does that mean? Root negative keyword means Anything with the word Yelp in it is going to, we're, we're telling Google that we do not want our ads to be shown for that. Okay, so that's why we put phrase match around them. Now, how do you add negative keywords? You might be wondering. It's really simple. Just click the plus sign here and make sure you add them at the campaign level. And then you just put them in here. So let's say we wanted to do just software. Put quotes around it. Software. We don't want our ads to trigger for any search query that has the word software in it. Hit save. Keyword added. And that's it. Okay? Very, really, really important, guys. Everything has to be in sync and relevant. That's all Google cares about. I don't I don't understand why people don't a lot of people don't get that still. But if you watch any of our trainings, you'll understand. I hammer this home. Is relevancy is the only thing they care about, and that's what's going to lead to a really successful campaign. So if you guys, I know this is not really advanced. It's pretty basic stuff. But for beginners, this is really important. So if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up on this if you can. And check out the links in the description. I put some cool stuff in there for you.